I have the document loaded in my Firefox and I am clicking in an alternate window in another monitor on another browser and I'm going to make some changes here. So I'm typing in another browser and making changes to my document. And you can see what's happening on my page, the one that you're looking at. You can see that sp.booge, the other user, is making changes or alterations to that document. So there's my alterations coming up real time. This can be done by several users at the same time. Unfortunately, I'm not quite talented enough to have multiple browsers with multiple uh, logins at the moment. But uh, try this out with your class. Try this out with a colleague or staff member. This is a great way to make an open document that is truly real-time collaboration and it allows for a lot of fun group activities and things that uh, you may have never thought of using before. Okay, So let's go ahead and jump back in here. I'm going to take over this screen again. I'm going to close this collaboration document. Again, there's no need to save. All changes have been, uh, have been accounted for. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. This time I'm going to create a presentation. So this is going to look a lot like PowerPoint. It's going to kind of feel like PowerPoint. A lot of the tools will be very similar. Okay, so here we are. I've loaded up a new presentation. I've got a drawing tool. I've got animation and I can collaborate. So it's just telling me what I can do with this particular presentation. I also have themes. Uh, when the first Google Documents came out, there were no themes. So these are really great. These are very simple, but I think you'll find them uh, adequate. Uh, it's not the flash it's the content that you're going to load into these and the ability to share it across uh, multiple platforms, multiple users that makes it so powerful. So imagine if we were doing a group project, uh, maybe in my social studies class, we're going to do a group project and we're going to create a presentation together. I can actually open this presentation with a single user, create it, share it out with my friends in my, in my group, allow them to edit it, and we can build a presentation together real time. Conversely, as a teacher, I could build a presentation and I can share it with my class, but not allow them to edit it. So that's where this difference comes in. There's a, a lot of powerful features here. Looks, feels, smells just like PowerPoint, so you can see you can just click make your changes, make your changes, add pages. Everything is very similar to PowerPoint. Uh, it's just open source. Now, I, I left the original document and went back to our uh, to our title page here or to our uh, kind of a menu page here earlier to show you how to share we don't actually need to go back there to share so if I wanted to share this particular presentation I can go ahead and say share and add my uh, my users here in the same way that I did earlier so I can do that from the document itself or from the menu. And there we go. Now as soon as I click share and my second user, here's my Firefox. You can see that I'm logged in as San Bourgeois, SP Bouge, and you can see that I have an untitled presentation and that collaboration document in my Google Doc menu. So I'll go ahead and say done there. And close that out, it's already saved. And let's create one more, and this time we're going to do a spreadsheet, which looks a lot like Excel. So again, uh, the power here is not all of the formatting tools and not the sorting of columns and things that you would expect, expect uh, Excel to do. The power here is the ability to do it uh, with multiple users in real time. This is truly, truly collaborative, very powerful. Okay, I think we understand the, the focus and the point of that. So I'll go ahead and leave this page, close it out. Uh, now, of course, I can uh, create some file folders here, basically. And I can put these together in a folder by clicking on that little folder button and apply changes. I can call these uh, folders whatever I might like. Uh, go ahead and have some fun with this. Just try it out. You're not going to hurt anything. Uh, maybe get a colleague sit next to you on a computer, invite them to documents just to kind of see how this all works. Okay, let me know if you need a hand and I'll give you a moment to play.